Well, when you have a big milestone, you need a big way to celebrate. This afternoon, historical reenactors, students, and political leaders paraded through downtown from James White's Fort to the historic Blunt Mansion, where I am now. And joining me is Michael Jordan, the director of marketing here at the museum. And Michael, tell me about the significance of the mansion that makes it so crucial to Tennessee's history. We like to say it's the birthplace of Tennessee. Uh, it's the only thing that's still standing on its original spot in downtown Knoxville from the days when William Blunt and the other framers signed that first Tennessee Constitution in 1796 and gave birth to our state. And it makes sense that the governor would be here for that. Yeah, but I mean, we, we, it wasn't a sure thing, right? He's got other stuff to do in Nashville. And there are things happening all over Tennessee today to celebrate this birthday. Uh, but it's significant that he came here to Blunt Mansion because you know this is where it all starts, is right here in Knoxville. Absolutely, and there was the parade, there was the ceremony, and then the governor, as well as anyone who's here, you can see the line behind you, went into the office and tell me what they were doing in there. We have three bottles of ink and extra pages of parchment because each person here gets a chance to sign their name with a quill pen, just like they used to do, on the desk where that first state constitution was signed in 1796. So you get to really, you know, write your name in history today. And today's events, June 1st, just kick off a whole year-long celebration. The governor's calling it Untold Stories, where they focus on stories you might not have heard from all of the counties in Tennessee. But of course, here in Blunt Mansion, you guys also have some events planned yeah. as well. We can't let an anniversary this important go by without trying to get as much action out of it as we can and remind people of this important, uh, the things that happened here in Knoxville. So tomorrow night, on June 2nd, we're going to do a joint live presentation with the State History Museum in Nashville. We're going to show viewers statewide the desk where the first Tennessee Constitution was signed, and they're going to show things like the pocket watch that William Blunt gave John Sevier. So it's like all these artifacts that were here in Knoxville that have scattered to these different museums will come together virtually. And then uh, Thursday night, we're going to have a live lecture by Dr. Chris Magra, a UT history professor who's on our board, kind of tying a bow around it and talking about what happened there. And uh, today was a party. That'll be a lecture, so it'll be more of a thing for serious history buffs. Well, you guys have a packed week, and of course, like you said, today's been a party. You can see the people lined up wanting to sign with that quill their name, their little role in history. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio.